back this way. I can slow down now. Uh, I think it might be good, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe we never know. Yeah. I think we're decent. Oh. It's not too bad, yeah. maybe. I certainly hope I'm not. Wait, where'd it go? Yeah, let me test things real quick, just to be safe. Eh. Okay, thank goodness, it's still in sync. Woo! That's a relief. Please don't attack them, guys. There's no reason to. They're on the other side of the fence. We, we can't get to them. Just leave them be. If we don't harm them, they won't harm us. That's usually the way these things work. Unless they're jerks, like the elementals, who will just attack you by using a spell. And yes, that's actually how they work now. I just recently found that out while I was back in the, uh... In the previous dungeon. Turns out you can actually find a Diakon uh, elemental, level 45 enemy there. And just by using Kira, they must attack you. Why? <sighs> Reasons. Uh, but anyway, back to our normal shtick. Let's head over this way. This is where the second one can be found. There. Nope. Here we go. Black wall with number two. And then my asthma ball inside. So I see it's broken. Water. Okay. So we, we can't uh, examine it after it already used it. That, that's good to know. Means we can't abuse the system over and over again. You know, you probably figure that out on your first try. But yeah, usually the way this thing works is three times the charm, so I imagine we grab the one over on that side, which from the looks of things, we need to actually go back the way we uh, originally went. But this time... Actually, how do we go over there? Hold on, let me see this from the map side. Uh, zoom in a bit. Yeah, nope. Okay. Oh yeah, so we do have to go back the way, we just have to go the long way. It's not very obvious, but that's, that's apparently the way. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, just keep going this direction. Not trigger sure anything else. Ah, here we go, there's the second, there's the oh, third entrance. You get the idea. It's the one with the last seal, maybe. I'm assuming it's the last one. So let's see over here. Yep. Oh yeah. Let's use hopefully the final black and break the final seal. There kinds of charms, so I'm hoping. Yep, looks like it. We did that. There's the broken seal of night loses its power. I'm guessing that means we can go through that one entrance earlier. Secret so right there. And yeah, there's nothing else we can do, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure enough, there it is. It gives us the little exclamation mark and everything. Thanks, game, for your foresight. Now we know we can actually proceed. I guess. Nope, it's just empty. Okay. That's cool. Uh, now we gotta go to this mini maze. Okay, here we have another mimic. Whack it, whack it. Yeah, bop it. And it's scooby bop Scooby Dooby Bop, da da da, Scooby Dooby Bop, da 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 Misnamed. They're clearly blue. Might as well call them blue orbs. Right, just, just give them the dark rays and there you go, with the worst. <sighs> but of course, Smyrnix cannot heal me. I'll kill this last one right here. Okay, the last two then. And this one apparently wants to fight for the comrades you please then. Yeah. Anyway, I'm taking his essence for my own personal use. Goodbye. There's a high potion. And our last orb of this area. 
Looks like we have to come back here specifically to get the orbs, in which case, uh, screw this game. Well, no, I think we're, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, but sure enough, here's a seal now, Threshold of Night. The, the Watcher waits, first of three. He, without wisdom, return whence you came. Lost my tent, then? The Light Bear! The prequel to Kingdom Hearts! Oh, what the heck? Okay, this is somewhat disturbing. I don't even get a map. Why do I feel... Why do I get... Why do I have bad vibes right now? Why am I, why am I getting, getting very bad enough vibes? More importantly, what is this place? It looks like this... Or, not Sandstrath. Uh, what's the one place? The place we visited on the way over to, uh... The Valley of the Undead. The Wraithwall Tomb and all. Either way. Is this a Malboro? Oh no, it's just a turtle. Yeah, that's, that, that's better for me. Why not? Find a giant rock turtle. What do we have? Pandemonium. They actually named a turtle Pandemonium. That must mean it's pretty badass. Uh, let's see. Let's try... Bizarra. Ow. Oh wait, that's right. Oh no, never mind. Wait, how did I hit that by so much damage? I'm gonna just use Bizarre, and huh, hey, throw time for that and all. Okay, this guy doesn't look like that much of a bigger threat. He can flash us. Fortunately, though, uh, did I have this set up? That for, uh, Redis? Doesn't look like I did. Uh, let's change one of these to using his blind side attack. Yeah, sight and seeing, that's what I'm thinking about. Use that. One blind. Where is that? Okay, let's go. Are you serious? Come on, there, there has to be. I, sure, I did. Come on, I had to buy a bomb, right? Is that the one thing I didn't spend money on? Mm. Let's see. I cheat. Get rid of the gamut. Okay, here we go. So clear that one. Oh, here we go. Full character status. That that makes more sense. But then we should be able to give it. Yep, here it is. Science scene. Perfect. Now we can see how this works. Get him, Redis! And it's fairly immune to a blind strike. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, this guy's definitely no threat. He's not much of one. And considering the last time, that tells you something. That uh, blind... Yeah, you just hit him blindly, Redis. Do your attacks. I'll heal. Uh, if only I had ace. To some degree. Yeah, slow and disable, but no, nothing else. You know, let's try this. Let's try to disable this guy. Why not? Who knows? That could probably work. It could be very helpful. Let's try it. Yep, that's what I thought. It's immune. The physical damage. Okay, then we need to switch over to using magic. Wait, but I might have now back to that. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Because it means that that. Uh. It's very immune to that. It's immune to. How do we attack this thing then? Have a stats helmet on it? For perk defense? No, it doesn't look like it. How do we hit this thing? Do we have to use our specials? I'm gonna assume yes. So, uh, let's try it and hopefully deal damage. If not, uh, that's gonna suck. Actually, no, let's try summoning. Let's see if this summon can negate this effect. Elias! 
Bias! Save us, Ice! Kane Flare! That was a mutualist! Dang that! How is this thing immune? I don't understand this. This is a waste of time. Black Magic just has got fire, that does it. Hellfire! Destroy all devils! Can I skip this? No, I can't. I have to. Being an ambition up, but it's just it's just too hard for me. It really is. Summon the hell fires from hell. Fires. And eradicate all foes with the power of fire. Let the sun roast you into turtle soup. I swear this is nothing and give me a thing it. That is nothing. No damage. Oh jeez. How are you? I wonder. Let's see if that does anything. Or at least try it. Maybe we can hit something. Come on, Vaughn, here we go. Spell. How do you beat this thing, man? They just have to hold back? They just have to run, just flee? Not do a thing? Besides healing? No, you would think, but clearly not. What is going on here? Let me bring out the good old phone. See how we're supposed to deal with this. Yeah, this seems gray BS, if you know what I mean. Uh, well... I can't. And there goes Manello. Seriously, how do we fight this thing? Boss. Da 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 Jerry. Okay. Oh, okay. The anti-magic and magic wall made it up around two minutes. Oh, and sure enough, we're now dealing damage. But okay, that is a very weird specific thing. That does. Like, I get after, like, like a few times, never, you know, uh, you know, a bit of a challenge, but it should last only like, like two minutes. That's kind of a warrior thing. That makes you think that the game could be glitched. Or that the fight's impossible. Or I have to do the fight quickly. Either way, it seems illegitimate. Hey, we, we won now. And thus uh, runs away to Turtle End. Okay, now we really run into a glitch. Um. It's just running into the wall. That's... I... <sighs> so it runs, it faints. I guess that's normal, but it does not feel like it. Okay, yeah. Good, good job, team. Um, so that happened. Congratulations! For doing... Whatever you did. Oh, and now it looks like we're leaving. Magic bindings fight. Uh, the magic bindings, the waystone thing. Okay, so we can move on to floor two, then it seems. Okay. Yep. Just gotta exit the room. Thank you. And then it just gotta go all the way back. Again. 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 I'm not dealing with this right now. I'm really not. Why jump the map? I need, I need the map to see. And I think this is good. 
course, they won't go too fast. Unless the computer catches a serious headache. And of course, Vaughn just keeps charging up for no real good reason right now. And these things are gonna hurt. We don't get out of here. That's a mimic, isn't it? You know what? I don't even care. Yeah, it looks like it's a mimic. It is mimic. It is mimic. What, what the? Wait, where am I? Dang it! I went the wrong direction. Fall back! Fall back! This way! Away! Okay. So we need to go up here. Let's get the same crystal and build up all our uh, TM. Uh, yeah, all our techniques, our MP, our gauges, works. And now we can teleport. On to the second ascent, then. So what's the gimmick of this area? Uh, I already see a door there. Oh.